Welcome to another episode of First Impressions. Today we're going to take a final look at Ubuntu 17.10 and we've just got a um, prompt here to do some updates so we'll just do that quickly now. I've just installed a fresh copy on a virtual box. I did have it, I've got it running natively on my desktop but OBS seems to not be screen capturing properly at the moment I'll have a fiddle about a bit later I just want to get this video out now so we're doing it like this um, obviously I've recently just done the daily build so I'm not gonna go too in depth here I'm just gonna have sort of a final look around and, and just have a look how it's all been tidied up right so if you haven't seen the um, the video on the daily build obviously you've got your dock on the left here the same as you would on unity and then you've got your top bar here all right that's almost done and as i said on the um the daily build video i do really like the way it looks um i'll have to sort of use it more as my daily driver to see how well it sort of performs day to day um, but I think it's a step in the right direction for Ubuntu okay we'll just restart that <clears throat> Alright, so let's get started. First off, we'll look at the About section. Oh, it just pops up Windows there. Okay. So I've been to 17.10. I've assigned it 4 gig and it's virtual machine with a, uh, a Ryzen 5 64 bit GNOME 3.26.1 so then the default applications for your web is Firefox, Mail is Thunderbird, Calendar is Calendar, Music Rhythmbox, Video is the GNOME video player I think that is and then Photos is Image Viewer um, I'm just going to pop open a terminal and just install htop quickly okay there we go so that's a lot better I remember when I looked during the daily build and it looked like it was using a lot of memory and that's a bit better okay so let's just install some things if you've watched any of my videos you'll know that this is my go-to icon pack I'm just wondering if it's already got the repositories installed or not we'll have a look and we do perfect right so as I said in the daily build video visually I think it looks really nice apart from I'm not too keen on that so it changes the colour on the top bar on the left panel there I'm sure I'm, I'm, that probably can be changed in the um, in tweaks or something so you've got a button down here to show all applications which will bring you to this and then if you search up here just type say rith and then it will pop you up with Rhythm box, there we go. Oh, I missed the boy, silly boy. Okay, and then right down here, and you can also have folders in this part here as well. So, if you go to activities, you'll have whatever you've got running open programs, and then to the right, you've got your virtual desktop switches. 
so you know you can do things like pop that open there open Ubuntu software center and then we can also if you just press your Windows home key uh, start key it will also do the same thing and then we'll we'll pop that there and then we can switch pop that back on there and then we'll pop both of them on there and then we're back unlike a lot of gnome it also has out of the box you minimize maximize and a, um, close buttons right so let's I don't know if we have tweak installed let's have a look so some main gnome tweaks is what we want that's quite good as well so if you don't already have the program it will as you search for it in your applications there it will um, give you a link to the store so you can download it we we'll use tweak to change themes and things like that so let's just launch that I'm gonna leave the default theme there because I quite like it I'm just gonna change the icons so pop mocha there you go see that's changed um, we'll leave all that as that Du, 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 du. okay and then what we'll do is we'll make the dock on the side a bit smaller um usually bring it to about 20 26 okay so final thoughts on i've been to 17.10 i actually prefer it with gnome over unity i know it's a mixed bag it's sort of 50 50 at the moment but i think as time progresses most people will tend to prefer it so you've got your calendar here notifications will pop there and then this is where you turn off shut down settings user account wide connection So if we just open up a few programs just to see how it handles everything. Uh, it's starting to lag a bit. Um, let's open up Firefox. Okay. And now I'm just going to open up a terminal. HTOP. So we're sitting at 1.52 gig gigabytes there and that's with LibreOffice files and Firefox open with two default tabs there so if you open another one to YouTube and then we go back to there and that's shot up to 1.63 okay let's have a look quickly what the snapping situation is so snap one way is it just got the side by side at the moment yeah so we'll have to mess around with that does it come with gimp out of the box let's have a look oh. No, um, we'll quickly install that, but I'll install it through the terminal. Oh, this, I've got this keyboard that I'm not a massive fan of. Right. close a lot of this stuff up now so you can also close your applications here close tabs right, while it's doing that we'll have a look at some of the backgrounds it comes with I don't think it's probably going to be the same as that they had on a daily build there might be one or two new ones but probably not so let's have a look um was that one in there i think so yeah i think it's all pretty much the same i 
Alright, let's go back onto the default. There we go. I do quite like the default orange. Alright, let's have a look if GIMP's done there. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is quickly just make a thumbnail for the YouTube. Very simple. Alright, then we'll open up GIMP. I'm just literally just going to put a bit of text over that, and then that'll be the thumbnail for the video on YouTube. Classic bit of white text. a bit and we'll just also put final look there we go there you go nice and easy we'll export that we'll just export it over that Okay, that's been first impressions, that's been Ubuntu 17.10, that's the final time I'm going to look at it now that it's all officially released. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.